Is Trey competing in that in the stadium that you're going to be competing in in a couple of weeks with the scrimmage this past weekend? Just your initial thoughts on you know defensively how y'all performed? Um, I feel like we um, going into like a good you know direction. Um, just uh, trying to play together, having um, a good chemistry, and just trying to like communicate. So uh, yeah, I think we're going to have a pretty good you know defense, solid defense. Lane came in here and said that Trey Harris is one of the guys who's mm -hmm. somehow gotten better from last year. I'm right. curious, you go against him all the time. Uh -huh. how, how, how much better does he look from when you first got here to mm -hmm. now? And just how much does going against a guy like that every day make you better? Um, first off, I like to say, uh, like, it makes you, like, want it more. Like, who wants it more? Uh, you know, the sense of urgency. Every every play going against Trey Harris, um, Trey Harris been like, you know, doing this thing out there every single practice, me and him. Uh, but yeah, everything's like good. So, how is it for you? I know some guys have come in and said this is the toughest defense they've had to learn. Transfer guys for you, what? Mm -hmm. How is this Pete Golding defense in terms of you adapting and, and learning? Uh, to me, I feel like. You know, coming from Alabama, they had some similarities, so uh, it wasn't it wasn't too hard to like you know get into like the playbook. So it's pretty it was pretty easy, pretty smooth. So uh, yeah, so some of the words was like tweaked out, but you know that's gonna happen. So yeah, everything's been good with the playbook and everything. Kind of building off of that. You know, there's been a couple of players in this program over the last couple of years who previously played at Alabama, mm -hmm. and, you know, some of those players said that some of the things that were done at Alabama from an organizational standpoint, from a learning standpoint, they're being done here. You know, with guys like you and Brandon Turnage coming mm -hmm. from Alabama, how in what ways have you seen that play out so far since you've been here? Uh, it's been playing out – I know, excuse me. Can you repeat that question again? My fault. Just guys like you and Brandon Turge uh -huh. having come from Alabama and, you know, with previous players on this roster that came from Alabama, they talked about some of the organizational stuff that was done at Alabama um, from learning from coaching personnel and all that uh -huh. was done here. What ways have you seen that play itself out since you've been here? Uh, it's been pretty – it's pretty different from Alabama. Um, I feel like they really, um, really try to, you know, learn the player and, you know, what ways they can – what we're good at, what we're not good at. And so comparing to that, uh, I feel like it, it's been good, so. Trey, just curious for your early thoughts on, on Micah Davis, um, the new addition you guys added at a wide receiver. Any any thoughts on him so far? I know it's only been a couple of days. Um, I didn't really match up against him yet, but other than that, uh, I see him making a transition, you know, and punt return. I've seen some cover plays, you know, so I feel like he's going to have, like, a good, you know, a good role playing with us. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just with the personnel that you worked with in the spring with, you know, some new guys now like Isaiah Hamilton and mm -hmm. just across the board, what's kind of been the biggest challenge to overcome up to this point? Uh, I feel like – Everybody have a chip on his shoulder. Everybody want to, you know, compete. He, they want to, um, especially win. You know, everybody want to win at SEC. Uh, but that just start off as uh, practice. You know, going at it, just saying, you know, uh, knowing the other person on the side of you, they gonna be practicing hard. So you just gotta, have to, you know, work harder and you know just build the team up with that. So, yeah. Got one more. And, and yeah, yeah, and I guess you know when Pete was in here a couple of days ago, he was talking about uh, helmet communication with mm -hmm. you know one guy on defense, you know having to be the guy and then signal everyone else, y'all watching in the back and all that. How's that kind of been from your vantage point? Um, everything, everything been going good. So uh, we just have to be vocal, letting everybody know to like read their keys, because um, you can't just know one position. You got to know all the positions. What the the Jacks doing? What the the linebackers doing? Um, so everything got to happen like play a role, and like everybody communicating, knowing everything you're supposed to do. Yeah. Thanks, All right, thank y'all.
Appreciate it.